Amazing, super cute, the most adorable. He's not like Asian baby cute, but he's like right below that. <laughs> and what? I, they're the cutest. Yeah. I, I think they're cuter than bunnies and puppies combined. Yeah. I personally, I would throw away 20 white babies to have an Asian baby. If it was a, <laughs> but I had a girl that was so dumb one time. She was literally the dumbest chick. She was afraid to eat pizza alone. She was afraid she'd choke and no one would be there. <laughs> but yeah, but th th that's not why. That's not what made her dumb. She literally asked me one time. She goes, "She's gonna be a flight attendant." She goes, "Does the the Concorde? Does that go to the speed of sound or the speed of light?" And I was oh, like, no. "I think you're thinking of the Millennium Falcon." <laughs> she goes, so wait, so wait, when they when they fly, can they not hear anything?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah, that's right." That's they're going to the plane where they all have chalkboards around their necks. They're like, "I need a darn call." <laughs> She was an idiot. <laughs> What's up, Kristen? Let's talk about rain real quick, man. Over here, Cedar Rapids. <laughs> here. Man, you got a little over an inch. That's nothing. Look at Spencer. <laughs> Spencer. Man, y'all are wet. Man, this is so easy. What is this? Deck? Decora? Decora. Decora? They have decora. no rain? Or they, you just felt lazy? You didn't put, like, putting in the, the total? <laughs> Thunderstorms. Point There's point. thunderstorms. You guys ready? Stay home. Don't go out. It's raining. It's just me and you. I want to go to my state place. I love you guys. We love you. See you later. Let's talk about your board guys. The website for the Travel Channel calls you professional fun seeker. <laughs> Their website sucks. <laughs> I love Travel Channel, but they're horrible <laughs> at the internet. <laughs> they're, they're so bad. They're the greatest people, but man, they're horrible. <laughs> no. oh. Before we started, I, I was not a very good host because I was talking about how empty a life I lead. Your, the, your sadness was hilarious. You told me <laughs> about your empty house. That's true. And how you sit in your sadness, and I asked you, what do you consume? Like. What's your vice? Do you drink at night? Are you eating cookies? And you're like, I'm just, I am consumed by my own sadness. Well, and I was, was like, really... that's hilarious. Well, yeah. good. I'm glad yeah. I could bring you up with my down. Oh, like you telling me how sad you are has been the best part of my week. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I go to your mom's house, go podcast mom. com. There's hundreds of episodes. Me and my wife's very juvenile, lots of farts, but you know, oh, it's good. a good time. Well, yeah. That's one thing that makes me happy. You like farts? I do like that. Hold on. <laughs> I feel Sorry. better. I got nothing. Just no. knowing that something was coming. <laughs> it's good. Just the anticipation. You're the best. I love you. So somebody told me if a bear ever attacks you, all you have to do is pinch his nipples. Is this true? Or did you not know that? Do you know? First of all, okay, I never mind. You know, I no, feel no, like no, no, no. That like... is the most brilliant thing in the world. Sorry for you have the softest skin. Thank you. That's the I have hashtag really soft skin. Feel that. Okay, so right four 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 zero 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 eight. Feel it right here. And we're gonna come see you at the store. Just feel it. Right here. Right here. Just feel it. Do you want to see a picture of me naked? Thank you for coming by. I can't believe this is our first time meeting. I couldn't imagine our next time. Where I was listening to Mark. My parents are getting old too. Yeah. And my dad just started eating marijuana because he's got a bad hip. Uh huh. And you can tell because he starts saying "dude" all the time. He's like, "Dude, have you listened to Pink Floyd, dude?" And you're like, oh, "It's like getting high with a ninth grader." Yeah. So, well, you can see him on the travel channel. <laughs> or you can see him. Don't, don't. I think my shows are sold out. I don't even know why I'm here. Yeah. I don't even need a beer. Oh, it's just you guys. Bird. 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 You can the bear. If I'm doing a shoey, it's on, it's on air. And they're like, really? I go, I'm going to the project. Who That's where do I do now? my shoe. I'll, I'll do it right now. I'm not doing my shoe. I know where my feet have been. You want to say, you want to say, show you guys? I'm imagining you guys are wearing heels. I'm imagining you've got that. I think you're the only one I got. Well, I've got. <laughs> Let me, I don't, should I smell it first? Yeah, have a smell. You smell uh, worse than that, surely. Oh, I definitely smell worse than that. I have that. <laughs> oh, right. you <laughs> oh, you don't have one under your seat? No, no, no. So what is it, how, how do I, just pour it in and just drink pour it? Pour it in and drink it. Are you going to have a sip with me? Just, no. Just, why not? just slide it up a bit so it doesn't pour out. A, a friend told me how to do it. <laughs> I want to go to a barbecue with you. All right, this is my first shoey. This is going to be my only shoey. I mean, David, you might acquire a, a, a taste. And I got to do the whole beer, right? Yeah. <laughs> hold, hold your nose. Hey, I'm going to be at the Enmore Theater tomorrow night in Sydney. Huh. We're encouragement from the audience. Encouragement. <laughs> Did 
so do you feel better about your body, obviously? You get your shirt I, I never there. really cared about my body. I never noticed that I was fat. And by the way, I'm sure there are people going, no, you're still fat, buddy. Like, I hate to break your heart. I know you think you look good. You look horrible. I'm changing the channel. <laughs> but uh, South, well, Southern Ohio, like Cincinnati, is so much different than Cleveland, right? You mean like... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Exactly yeah. That place, that, the white people scare the crap out of me there. <laughs> Yeah, that is a sketchy, like almost like uh, Kentucky. Like uh, I got a buddy Jay uh, Snyder who's from there, and one night he's like, "We need to get ourselves some cocaine," and I went, "What? Uh, no thanks, I'll pass." But yeah, and and looked at my driver's license as we were having this meeting, and it says I'm five eleven, and he goes, "Bro, five <laughs> eleven? Come on!" And he shook his head. Then he stood up next to me, and I was like, "I am. I tower over you. Come on, that's ridiculous. I tower over you. You can eat peanuts off my head <laughs> easily. How tall You're, are you, Tom? Five <laughs> eleven. You did have a section where I had to decide. I had to. You, somebody speaks, and I have to guess if it's a black man talking or, or me not, or you, Tom or Black. Yep. Tom really? Or black. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. Can we hear? Hey yo! Like that. And oh, I had to guess. Dude. Yeah. Hey yo! Like that wasn't as good. Let me hear yours. Hey yo! Dude, what is that? That's what not is, a black hold guy. On, what, what are you, you talking about? What, what are you black saying? Guy? He's what? at the University of Miami. You didn't meet him. There's a, it's a black guy. Are you saying that <laughs> you're, you want a a black aggressive shit aggressive yeah, shit talker aggressive. in tennis? Yeah, that would be the best. And That's I, an ace, man. Like that. Yeah, like, Ain't no double fault. Fuck you. <laughs> like that. Like that. Yeah. Ain't no double fault. Sir, can you please watch your language, please? Eat my dick. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to ask you to get over to the, to the Bitch. Service. Your daughter. Uh, 14 and 12. They both had their periods, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> oh, we can't talk about this. No, no, no. Hey, can I just oh. make it really clear? That's not what I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> like, my wife got hers at a football game wearing white pants. Oh, my God. No, well, it was an Alabama football game, so... Her dad was like, she bleeds school colors, roll tide. <laughs> so, so, yeah, yeah, the whole period thing? Yeah. Oh, no, I did not see that coming. <laughs> no one, no one, no one told you about that. Well, I, I knew it was gonna happen, I just didn't think I'd be around. <laughs> My oldest got hers first, that's how it happens, yeah. right? And so, <laughs> can we can talk, she gets hers, thank God I wasn't there, I was on the road. I would have ruined that. Yeah. I'd be like, all right, you go to the river and do laundry for a week. You're dirty. <laughs> I go do one of these horrible fucking morning shows. Right? Uh -huh. Seven o'clock in the morning, you know, the, 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 the moms taking care of their babies are not like, I'm going to go see this. It's like, it's not the right place to publicize stand up, usually. Right. Which is so, why you did start doing the character called DJ Dadmouth. Comedian Tom Segura, AKA DJ Dadmouth. DJ DJ Dadmouth. <laughs> It's all about the after party, man. I mean, I want to give a shout out to Kim Ann, Who's You that? Are Maze, and uh, uh, Throatzilla. Throatzilla? Yeah. Got beautiful young daughters. I you that... can see my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't see your eyes. There's just beer everywhere. But are you going to tell your daughters about your record? Do you have like a plaque at home saying my the world's best party up? My daughters are so stupid. <laughs> you don't have to worry about them reading anything. <laughs> Oh, you got it. <laughs> How bad bombing feels mm -hmm. to somebody. Imagine <laughs> if a girl said you got weak dick and then like as she said it, another girl walked by and was like, he does. Like, what the fuck? It's just like a never then, ending line. Yeah. And then a whole bunch of them were standing around like, you got the weakest dick. They're like, weak dick, weak dick, weak dick. <laughs> so we welcome them in this morning. Good morning. What's up, man? Shout yeah. out to Mercer. Shout out to the Bristol stool chart. I had number five. That's soft blobs with clear cut edges because I need fiber. There you go. Tom Segura. Segura. AKA DJ Dadmouth. AKA Duct Tape. Duct Tape. Dadmouth? Du duct Tape. Duct Tape. Duct Tape. Yeah, how'd, how'd you get that? People call me Duct Tape, man. They call me Duct Tape. Because I always have it on me, you know? Like MacGyver. It fixes yeah. everything. I'll duct tape your mouth shut. I'll just. <laughs> anywhere that you have. A, a hole on you, I'll put duct tape You'll on You'll put it. duct tape on it. I'll duct tape your ass today. <laughs> oh, Skycam. Oh, look at this. We'd like to thank our sponsors at Orton Homes. Yes. If you're looking for a house and you have money, contact Orton Homes and they'll help you get it. And if something breaks, we'll put duct tape on it. Now, I got to ask about the get up here. You were expecting a blizzard in Syracuse, obviously. No, it's just how I roll, man. I roll like this in July. I don't care if it's humid. I don't care if it's 105. I wear you, fur, because there's an old saying, 
Happy hoes eat, sad hoes don't, and I try to stay happy. <laughs> Welcome, Ohio native comedian Tom Segura, folks. So, okay, before we get into this. Shout out to everybody all over the world doing their thing and stuff like that. Shout out to Daniacs, XVLB, you know what I'm saying? Got it. <laughs> What's it like at home? It's, uh, it's not a lot of laughs, man. It's a lot of smells. Really? It's a lot of smells. It's a smelly house. We have a baby. A lot of kids, yeah. Baby? No, it's one kid. One kid, but, but he that sometimes like that's all you need. Kids. That's yeah. all you need, one That's kid. all it takes. Yeah, I mean, look, there's a lot of action in the home, too, you know? Like, I got, I got kids that she doesn't know about, so sometimes when she's out of the house, I'll bring other kids over. Hour-long special is right now on Netflix. Net it's presented by Netflix. Tell us a little bit about the special. I watched it last night, and I was telling you a story off-air. You started off, it's hilarious, and then you go into some stories where... I, my girlfriend's outside of the room, and she goes, "Hi, he, he said what? What did he say?" Yeah, yeah well, it's it's, di it's dirty, but but it's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, your girlfriend, she'll find out. I've done everything there is to do How? in the world. <laughs> you ever had a bucket list? I've done it all. Jumped out of a plane with Rachel Ray, fought a bear. I was the first person to jump off the stratosphere. Jumped off the world's tallest stadium in Africa. You name it. Travel Channel. Yeah, fighting a bear was the dumbest thing I ever did. I would never do that again. You can't. How do you even go into that mentally? How do you prepare yourself? Uh, oh, I want to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> well, if weekend. And he, he is shirtless. And all the shows at the Funny Bone are sold out. <laughs> Bert Kreischer is here this morning. Welcome back. Shirtless, but, but I still have like a muffin top. Mm -hmm. But I think you feel good about your body, right? You yeah, lost 40, I'm 44. But you lost mm -hmm. 40 pounds. I lost 40 pounds. Didn't do it healthy, but yeah, I lost 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. A lot of Xanax and Ambien. <laughs> That's it's just it tap out at the end of the day. Oh, I'm hungry. No, I'll take an ambient. Go to bed. <laughs> Go to bed. Wake up skinny. <laughs> and uh, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Let's start properly. I don't know. What yeah! <laughs> this is what athletes look like before steroids. <laughs> this is America for you right here. <laughs> Did you have makeup on, on the whole body? Or no, this, this, is, is this is natural. This is natural. I, I've lost 40 pounds. Me and my buddy got in a weight loss. I look great. <laughs> so, uh, this a baby? Seven months old. How's that going? It's good. I mean, it's very good. He's very cute. Um, he's not like Asian cute, but he's really cute for a, like for a white kid. And, um, <laughs> don't you think they're the best Asian yeah. babies? They're oh, okay. so cute. Biracial babies. To me, you really most beautiful. Yeah. Mix it up, yep. really? Absolutely. I like them purebred. I like. <laughs> I don't look good. Uh, it's for perimenopausal women. I think they look at me and they're like, they're like, oh, that guy wouldn't cheat on me. That looks cool. <laughs> You're safe. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. A safe guy. That's, yeah, that's a guy. He's got a life insurance policy. <laughs> He'll be dead in ten years. I can live out my dreams with a young Spanish boy. <laughs> You did CrossFit, you did say. I got, yeah, I got Not trouble. that you were just on What'd a treadmill What would you do with CrossFit? Time. I don't know. We might get in trouble if I say this. I called the guy black. I don't know if you can say that. He's black. Yeah. But I said, hey, the black guy's cheating. And they're like, you can't say that. I was like, why? I don't know his name. And they're like, yeah, his name's Wendell. I go, oh, okay. Hey, Wendell, the gay guy says I can't call you the black guy, but you're not doing all your burpees. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sure we can't say that. <laughs> we can't say that. I don't know, but I was. I'm half Peruvian, so mm -hmm. so we've been teaching him Spanish because it's part of his heritage, and I speak Spanish, and you know, there's also a utility in knowing Spanish. So many people speak it. Of course, it. yeah. And then my wife's Hungarian, which is fine, and <laughs> and she goes, I want him to speak Hungarian. I'm like, why? It's like, so he can be an arms dealer or something. Like, what's <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Hart. I love Kevin Hart. I love him. I've known Kevin for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. But Kevin's brand now is like work hard and and believe in yourself and you can accomplish whatever you want. That's not real. That's that's, so what so that's give irresponsible. Me, give to tell me that. your motto. Give me your motivational pitch. Uh, just be at the right place at the right time. Mm, just get I, lucky. We were talking about that today. It, it's all yeah. luck. It's all luck. Like like trust me, if Dave Chappelle hadn't taken off for South Africa uh -huh. and Chris Tucker hadn't found Jesus, Kevin Hart may not be working. That's the truth, okay? He doesn't acknowledge that in any of it. Like, but that's the truth. What? Man, I love yeah. Travel Channel. I love scripts. They were nothing but the... It's the reason I have a house. Uh -huh. It's the reason we have security. It's the reason my daughter has yeah. a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Should have said that. I've definitely been drinking. <laughs> and you are drinking. I'm in therapy too, everybody, okay? What is in the cut? Maybe, uh, yeah. wheeled out, of your, you wheeled out of your own home in a gurney. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Oh. It's forever, right? What am I counting the days for? You think guys doing life in prison count the days? I don't think so. You do your time. I'll do mine. <laughs>
<laughs> oh no, I got out. Uh, you got out? Uh, yeah. you got out. Um, did you know that drinking, I drank milk out of a cow? Did you know that's warm too? Yeah, well, it's coming <laughs> from their body. You think it was refrigerated? <laughs> it was refrigerated from the udder? I was like, it, it comes out cold. It, it tastes, it's like as hot as urine. <laughs> yeah, it's inside its body. It's just like it's, it's urine. Like, it's it's like, 100 degrees. <laughs> who wants milk that's hot? Um, you also did a. My favorite Rachel Ray story ever. Uh, secret time. No one tell this to anyone. Um, <laughs> we go to Mexico. Uh, we do a segment down there, but it's, it's like sketchy Mexico, so we have to have bodyguards. And I, uh, we're drinking in her room. John, her husband's playing music, and our bodyguards are sitting there just watching us. And me and her are just drinking, and she just lights up like in a fun way and goes, "Hey, let's take our bodyguards to the beach and make them fight." I was and I overdosed on GHB. And like I took ecstasy and I drank. It's the date rate drug, but What's I gave G it to myself. That's GHB. So That's what GHB is. GHB is yeah yeah. It's you didn't like, really know what you were taking though, right? Doctors ultimately found some stuff in your system that you yeah, weren't Yeah, I mean sure I knew about. what I was taking because I had taken it before because it's fun to get high. But um, I didn't realize that I shouldn't take a hundred hits at once, <laughs> like that kind of thing. Have you, have you heard from people uh, who who in some way relate to your story and they they yeah get they're like drugs are fun. It. You're right. No. You host a podcast with your wife. That sounds like a famous no, mistake. talking about my wife, man. Oh, oh I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize to his wife. I apologize to your wife. I'm sorry, Miss. I'm sorry, Senora Segura. I apologize. We don't apologize. Uh, you don't have that out of your system yet, bro? <laughs> What's up with those shoes? You tell me. What color are they? What color? Yes. Black? Come on. <laughs> You've been listening. You've no. been listening. No. We've been having a debate all morning because Ariana's is wearing the same shoes about whether they're navy blue or black. Look at them next to your black pants. They're black. They're black. Your Come socks on. are blue. Yes. yes. We're not. But it's and not the about them. Black. The shoes black. All right. Well, that's it. Tom Segura has settled it. I have a podcast too. Do you know mm -hmm. what a podcast is? Yes. Well, why did you take it like that? Because some people don't even know. I know. Some people don't know blue from black. A podcast is... My daughter's got a friend named Alexa, and she came over, and she left frazzled because I'm trying to make a blue apron. I'm like, Alexa, set a timer. Alexa, play Sam Cooke. Alexa, how do I make a roux? And this poor kid's like, I don't even know what a roux is. <laughs> what do you think about your dad? Well, he's nice, but he's really bossy. Yeah. I didn't drink last night, and I went to the gym, and I worked out. And then I saw some guy walking up with bottles of wine for a wedding. Oh. I was like, can I get one of those? And he was like, sure. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Just one bottle. And then I, my wife said, I was talking to my wife on the phone, and I took a sip in the middle, and she goes, are you drinking? I was like, no, 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 I'm breathing. So, uh, so. A joke, and you said, uh, let's build a wall around Louisiana. Right. And that made people, some people, very unhappy. People would be like, no, you, you crossed the line with that joke about building a wall. I'm like, do you understand what time we're living in here? Like, right. do you understand the context? Like, our current administration wants to build a wall to keep people out from, like, quote, shithole countries. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, let's put a wall around a shithole state. You know, it's like... <laughs>